Hi everybody. I have received some comments from subscribers um, letting me know that in one of my first videos, which was how to sew, how to shorten the sleeve of a dress shirt, um, that they were not able to see how I was sewing the top of the placket. So I decided to redo it. In this video, I really tried to focus on getting good shots and um, real good close-ups. Now, there's areas where I can't get my hands out of the way because my hands are doing the job. So, but the most important part being the top of the placket where people were concerned with not being able to see what was going on. Um, I got those shots really good. So, you know, I hope you guys enjoy this. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you, if you liked it. Um, also in my excitement for actually sourcing for this channel, um, I saw the dress shirt. I was like, oh good. This one has a placket. I can use it. It's, um, not too busy so that you could still see the sewing. And then I realized I got the plaque, a shirt with a placket. That's a one piece placket, not the two piece placket. So this is a one piece placket, um, sewing job. The next time I go out, I will be sure to get one that has a two piece placket. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks. Hi everybody. It seems like it's been a long time since I've done a sewing video and I've received a couple comments um, about one of the first videos I did and that is um, they couldn't figure out how I did this part here on how to shorten the uh, sleeve of a dress shirt. So I am going to redo this video and hopefully get a lot better um, shots, close-up shots. So the first thing we're going to do is um, take off the cuff and Basically, you just get your seam ripper under there and cut those threads without, hopefully without cutting your shirt. And like most shirts, these threads are pretty tight. So I am starting on the right sleeve. And just like I mentioned in the video, the first video I did like this, the reason why I do the first sleeve, the right sleeve first, is because when I'm sewing it on, I'm sewing here, and then when I get here, then I realize how much um, extra fabric I have here, so then I know um, how much I needs, it needs to be pleated before I finish it off. Whereas before, you would be doing the pleating and then hope you get enough done, um, or that you don't have you know, too much or not enough fabric left over. Now you can, and it is recommended that before you do what I just did, that you go to your, your um, pleats right here, and then you can just pin them down like this. Now I'm not actually shortening this shirt. I'm just doing the video so I can show you how to do the placket. And since my move, I'm working with a much smaller workspace and then a much smaller living space. So when I moved to the East Coast, I sold everything I had and moved here. So um, it took me a while to be able to get videos because I came here with no job and um, just had to wait until some money came in so I can actually do some shopping for this um, channel. So... Um, my son and I resell on eBay. So anyway, so I've got the cuff off. Now you can start removing the placket, but first let's remove the small button. We'll put that aside. And I like to clean up all the threads here. I don't know if you can hear that, but my neighbors have dogs and they are barking. They're hunting dogs. So anyway, okay, so that's off. Um, I'm going to leave the 
buttonhole, we don't want to mess with that. And just start removing the stitches that hold the placket in place. And like I said, these stitches are super small. So if I can just get my seam ripper under there. Okay, that's as far as I can get right here. Now I have to take the stitches that come across the top of the placket. So when you sew it on, you go up like this to the point, back down, and then across. So I just took the stitches out up to this cross line. I'm gonna remove those stitches and then go all the way around. Okay, that's out. Now we'll just continue going all the way around. I'm doing my best not to tear the shirt. I mean, I don't need it for anything, but I still don't want to make a mistake on it. Okay, I think I see the under stitches better. The seam ripper I have seems to have um, a larger point on it. So you can also get a smaller seam ripper to get under there. And a lot of people use razors. So um, I don't always. I just don't happen to have any with me right now. So this is what I have to work with. Okay, so this is one of the one piece um, plackets. And I honestly, I forgot to check for that in the store. So I guess I will be doing this one again. Um, when I get a chance, I will look for one that has the two piece. Looks like I tore a hole in the shirt after all. So this will be the one piece placket. When I find the two piece, Placket, I will show you how to do that. So this right here basically is just a straight line or a straight piece of fabric. And if you look inside, you'll see how it's folded. It's very, very simple and basic. And then when you look at the shirt, the sleeve, you can see how it's cut. Now, if you're strictly looking at how to go up and over that top part up here, this triangular piece, then this video should still do it. It's the same with the other ones as well. So um, it'll be the same. So we're just going to put this back on because like I said, I'm not shortening it. And you can use the previous stitches to see where it needs to go. Let me move it like this. That way my pins are going in the right direction. So when I fold it back, I can see how much of the fabric is folded in. I'm laying this, the shirt edge along that edge so they align properly.
Now, when you get up to this top part, you want to make sure that these notch areas here, this where they're cut up to the corners, that those go fully into the shirt because you don't want any holes um, showing through. Now I'm going to start back here and put the ends in. That way I can kind of stabilize the edges or the ends and then move back up to the, the center at the top of the placket and make sure those are in there securely. Now we're coming back up to the top. Okay, see right here, you can see where that corner is wanting to come back out again. And I just have to make sure that it's up all the way into the placket. Just keep working it, it'll it'll come together. Okay, I think I've got it. Now, if I've got it properly, I should be able to pretty much sew a straight line from end to end. Okay. For this, I'm doing a straight stitch and the stitch length is 2.5. You just start at the beginning. Don't forget to back stitch. And then forward. Okay, as I move up to the top of the placket, I can see that it's starting to show the whole area. So I have to make sure that as I get there, I don't pull on the shirt fabric so that it stays inside. Past the top, let's hope this worked out. Go ahead and check to make sure that the back got all caught up in the stitching. If you don't mess with the fold too much, this is not going to be, it should not be a problem. So it looks like everything got caught up in the stitching from the top. Because I know that some people do one run of stitch from the, from the, the bottom and then they go over and do the top. But it all worked out on this one. 
So here, if you look at the fold that was already there, you're going to copy that fold. That's why when you take these out, you don't press them. So you can see there was an X right here. And you can see how it's folded. So you're going to fold it here. And then you're going to fold it. Hang on. There. So now you're just going to take it to your machine. I'm going to pin it just to make sure it stays in place. Okay, that's a lot of fabric to pin through. <laughs> I will have to take that out because I, I pinned it through the whole shirt. So then you're going to take a stitch from here, up, down, and then across, and then you're finished. So let me fix that pin real quick. If you want, you could actually just pin it across here. Move it over here a little bit. And then just pin it, uh, or I'm so up and around that. I think, let me see, I might start here and go this way up and around. I'm hoping that'll give you a good enough visual. I might move the camera and hopefully give you a more over the shoulder view. If I can just keep my fingers out of the way and you can see. Okay, now you see how this is being pulled around that's why I like to do my pinning ahead of time and hopefully I won't have to unstitch anything later. Okay, so it looks like everything is laying flat underneath. Put my needle in, take my pin out. Now here, I'm just going to use my fingers to lay everything flat. Now you can bring it all the way back down here if you want to, or you can just end it right here because it's already stitched down here. Okay, and that's what it looks like. And from here you can just um, clean up your stitches and then get ready to put the cuff back on. Okay, because I didn't um, move these pleats, I, I did pin them down. I'm not going to worry about um, having to put those back in place. And since I didn't trim anything off the shirt, I'm just going to put the cuff back on.
I'm not going to worry about pinning. And I can see where the previous uh, stitching was, so I'm just going to put this back in here. As you get up to the pleats, just make sure you pull your pins out so you don't hit them with your needle. Okay, and that's it. And then now all you need to do is put your placket button back on and clean up your threads and you are finished. I hope that makes things a little more clear. If you still have questions or concerns, please leave a comment in the comment box below and I will get to these as soon as I can. I'll see you guys in the next video.